Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're talking all about paper towels. Let's get into it. Before we get started, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy May the 4th. I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt. Let me know what you guys did for today in the comments down below. Um, I made a Star Wars themed dinner. I tried my best. I made a uh, uh, bow tie noodles with spaghetti and meatballs. So the noodles are meant to represent the TIE Fighters and the meatballs are meant to represent the Death Star. And then the sauce was the blood of all the people who died from the Empire. Um, and then we had Cheddar Bay Biscuits, so I don't know what that's supposed to be. But that was my idea. Let me know what you guys did in the comments down below. That being said, let's get into talking about paper towels. So in my house, it's just my boyfriend and I, and we have been trying really hard not to use paper towels. I personally only use one roll of paper towels for an entire year as a single person. Um, this is our roll of paper towels that we opened in January. It is now, um, what, May 4th. So we have used this roll for five months. So it was, what, this big? And we are still on our first roll since we moved in this house. And we moved here and I told Will, you know, I use one roll of paper towels for a year. So I'm expecting you to do the same. And then um, I'll give you one as a buffer. So the challenge is only to use three rolls of paper towel for the entire year. And he thought I was crazy. He thought there's no way that we're going to be able to do that. And this is the first roll. We haven't even opened the second roll. So I am so proud of us. And the reason why I've been able to do so well is we have an abundance of alternative options. The first being reusable towels. So these are the most, you know, similar to paper towels in um, accessibility and um, shape and size and accessibility and all that. So these sit on the counter on the side of the sink. And then our other option on the counter are um, these napkins. So these napkins, I uh, they were big, bigger napkins, and I cut them down into fourths. I'll sh have that video linked down below. So this basket is, I don't know, how many did we say they were? Like over a hundred or something. And so when I do the laundry, this basket is like this high and we burn through these and I don't care. And like, he's like, oh, I don't want to burn through them so fast. I'm like, I don't care. I'm happy to do laundry to not have to use towels, paper towels. So the paper towels, I also make them inaccessible, less accessible. Underneath the sink are these two baskets of regular kitchen towels. So this is like, I think three packs, maybe four packs from Costco of KitchenAid towels. So they're just like regular towels. So these definitely get used way less because this is like if something big happened, like a big spill or need to dry something, like these get used way less frequently. So these go underneath the sink and behind them is where the paper towel lives. So the paper towel only gets used for like raw meat, grease, something really gross. That's the only reason why we use paper towels. We don't use them for just wiping up spills or things like that. Um, these definitely get the most use because there's so many of them and they're so easily accessible. And then the reusable towels, these get used a lot for drying our hands or you know quick wipe ups. Um, we also use these guys as napkins, or they could both be used as napkins, but these guys as napkins. Um, the reusable towels, I'll have my Etsy shop link down below and also the video uh, videos I've made on how to make them. They're quite simple to make, you just, take your cotton flannel and then surge it all the way around and then they just stick to themselves on the roll. So with these three alternative options, we have been able to cut our paper towel down so much. A really important factor besides having a ton available is a place to discard them. So once we are done using a towel, we have a dirty linen uh, basket right in the kitchen right by the trash can so it can pile up it's actually a trash can from Ikea if you remember I did the four trash can series um, four trash can system video I'll have that listed down below but um, that is the trash can we use and it's quite large so it takes about a week to fill up and then um, I'll go put that laundry in the laundry room um, I have a three hamper system and then after about a week or two then I'll do laundry so all of these you know three types of towels will last us two weeks before I have to do laundry again we also have um, napkins on the um, dining room table as well so lots of different options and then the um, 
sponges i wash those as well with these guys the sponges i've shown you guys i have like 12 sponges and then all the ones that i made with you guys about two weeks ago so that is all of our alternatives and the big key besides having a bunch is having a place to put the dirty ones especially if there's other people in your home that don't know your system or don't know where to put it um, it's great to have somewhere really obvious to put them so that your system can keep working let me know how much paper towel your family uses in the comments down below and what things you try to use as alternatives to cut down your paper towel usage. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.